Tour of Poland today was actually a very interesting stage. It was uphill TT, but not too steep. It was won by Timon Aronsman, who's going to join Ineos. Then Magnus Sheffield, Ethan Hayter, Ben Tullett doing very well. Not too many surprises, except in my opinion, Carapaz. Bit of a shocker, minute 20 down. Not great, to be honest. Um, sort of everyone else is where you'd expect them to be more or less. Sobrero is very good at these sort of TTs. Uh, Simon Carr. Also doing well. Mark Padun as well. That's a big result from a from the from the man who's been missing since his ridiculous numbers in the Dauphiné last year. So anyway, this is Team and Aaronsman's numbers. So seventy kilos. He his numbers seem pretty accurate. People on Twitter reckon it's good stuff. His Palmier and also reckon his weight is very accurate as well. So four hundred and forty two normalized for eighteen minutes at seventy kilos is very very strong. Um, but that doesn't really, well, that does basically show, tell you most of the story. Um, but yeah, you can see 6.3 watts per kilo for 17 minutes 30, which is pretty impressive. Um, obviously on a TT bike, um, but this is more impressive, 6.4 for 15 and a half. Um, again, super, super strong ride from him. I mean, averaging almost 13, well, over 1200 gram on 3% is crazy. That goes to show um, how fast the man is. You can also see like this bit here, sort of 458 watts. So definitely um, a negative split on the climb. And then obviously the, the, the last part was a bit more flat, but pretty impressive numbers from the man. Haven't really seen anyone to, uh, you know, anyone really done that numbers for quite a long time. Uh, I guess it goes to show that like his threshold is 410, he says, probably a bit higher to be honest. He's doing 440 for 20 minutes. You know, you probably looking at a threshold um, closer to 420. Um, you can see some other guys posted power, like Simon Carr, he did 390. He's like mid 60s or something, so he did about six watts per kilo. Um, Bruno Amarai as well, super strong. Um, you can also sort of see the lack of correlation with weight, like he's obviously a big boy, 430 watts. Um, and Stevie Williams is pretty small. That's not a great time by Stevie Williams either, actually. Um, but I guess for him, 340 watts, that's not very many numbers. I was going to say he's like 60 kilos. Like, that's not really great. Um, 5.7 on the climb, but, you know, not not outrageous from the man. Probably just suffers a big loss on his on his TT um, power numbers, I would I would ha imagine, um, because he's definitely doing more than that in order to win big races like Tour of Croatia. Um, but, yeah, interesting to see Ethan Hayter in the leader's jersey. Um, if we go back to this, Timon Aaron spins 11 seconds back. Um, for basically just the bonus seconds is why Hater is in the lead. Um, and actually, I guess that steep climb as well. There was some time gaps. But anyway, going into the next couple of stages, it'll be interesting to see how everyone um, is going. Um, and also, yeah, interesting to see what Team Aronsman does next year because this is a super strong ride um, and some really impressive watts per kilo. So anyway, cheers for watching. Enjoy this video. I'll see you in the next one.